Right, I need to take this back apart and re-show you what I had to do because I think my last video was a little bit of a fraudulent one. It didn't work. It seized in about 30 seconds. It wasn't my fault. There was other things that I didn't know about and I needed to strip the entire spindle out. Anyway, during the video I was saying that I don't have a bipod. Sorry, a tripod. I need something with three legs. And to be perfectly honest, most of my time is either zipping around on that thing, which is the godsend which keeps me in the shop, or I've got that plonked underneath my butt holding me up when I'm working on the lathe. So I needed to do something. And I come up with a little idea, and it appears to work. As long as you've got ceilings with open timbers. So I decided to print myself a little plastic block with some captive nut holes, a couple of little slots and whatever else. I also printed myself some of these little spinny things. Just, just go on a standard 6mm bolt. And I printed myself this little block at the end which is bonding at this end of this aluminium tube with camera mount on it. The other thing I've done Check all that. Oh, and look, see, I'm dropping everything over the floor. Is I got another piece of tube and I screwed a G clamp to it. I think you can all see where this is coming from, can't you? Or where it's going to, I should say. Now it looks a bit of an oddity, I admit. But if we actually look now and we look through the screen of my proper mobile phone, you can see I can quite carefully and easily look down on something and still work with my hands below without any obstruction because there's no tripod in the way it's extendable left to right it can rotate and run its own axes and it can go up and down if I don't get too much interference off the lights on that pole there so that's just working over the bench and like I said that can quite easily be extended across if I can slacken this which I doubt it but well that can be rotated around in different directions, back and forth, tip backwards and forwards, I can do whatever I need to do with it. And what's better than anything else is that it works really well with the lathe and the milling machine. So looking at the chuck on the tool post, that's actually on my camera phone, which is mounted to the side. I'm going back up and clamped up to the timbers. Now this means, if I go back, I can still quite easily operate and record without anything on the floor. And it works exactly the same for the mill. It's a little bit flexible, I admit. I sh if I can use some solid tube or get a hold of some solid tube, I'll do that. But I think you might agree that as far as remote filming goes, it works. So it's just a short one. Like I said, I will be doing a little bit of a follow-up with the Colchester. I did have some problems, as I said earlier on in the video. Um, and as soon as I'm able to get back and forth the shed with ease, I'll, uh, I'll take it all back apart and show you all over again. Anyway, until next time, see you soon.